Hello and uh, welcome back. I've got something nice and uh, it is uh, an RF generator and it's based on the, the ADF4351. So it will do from 35 megahertz up to 4.4 gigahertz, which is a lot. And yeah, I, I, I was kind of lucky because I found one, including a display. So I don't need to make an uh, Arduino project or program a pick or whatever I need to do to make it work. It just had, has its own display. Um, I did see on the page of the seller that I can download some software. I tried to do that from uh, analog devices. It did not work on this one. So that I will probably need to look a bit further. It's, it seems in the... Oh, so I need to look a little bit further after. It comes with a USB-C plug. It has quite some length, which is good because it needs to be powered by the USB. And it is very well packed. And it looks like this if it has a display. And it is an NCLK, so it's some sort of clock that I don't know. And it has an error out, and that is what we're gonna play with. We're gonna play with how much power comes out, is it properly adjustable, and what can we do with it. Okay, and here we have it. It is uh, USB powered, it came with the cable, so I just plugged it in, into my computer. And uh, here we have it. So uh, it seems, look at this, um, well the proper chip is selected, I choose the 51 because it is a higher reach and it can do a single frequency and it can do a sweep and I was just quickly going through this. So um, let's put uh, some, I put the Marconi on the transmitter test, uh, we connect to the output. Um, I selected one gigahertz, as you can see. And if we look in the settings, the amplitude is full power. So let's try on full. Let's see what it does. Uh, one gigahertz, it's immediately also the maximum of the Marconi, but uh, that's okay. And we do a point. Okay, it seems it's transmitting. Well, it's a little bit off. There is no signal, no modulation. And it transmits a full milliwatt, which is uh, nice. It's quite some power. And let's see what happens if we do it a little bit lower back point that is half a milliwatt I prefer the ok button in the bottom I see because I'm ok 25 and at the lowest is 140 milliwatts so oh, it's it's about 140 250 500 and a full milliwatt so that is uh, quite nice. And how does that look on the spectrum analyzer? Is it any clean? Well, let's put a point. It should be in one gigahertz. Do we see it? Yes, we see a point. Uh, the spin. Well, that doesn't look bad at all. Do we see any harmonics? Well, not immediately.
that looks quite clean um, do we see any points mm -hmm. ah here is one here is one ah that's the end of the no. that looks clean okay now i like to show you the sweep function i put uh, the center on uh, one gigahertz the span is also one gigahertz so that means i'm in the center here with one so i start from 500 to 1500 and then i should see it sweep from left to right and i do in steps of uh, 100k so because if i do two big steps then it's probably gonna be too fast that we don't see it so if i do a sweep here you can see it is going i can put more intensity but you do see some garbage around and i didn't see that in the non-sweep mode to be honest so hold it thought and if i say now point now it's clean so it seems that when you start sweeping it does bring a little bit of dirt uh, i can do a smaller sweep later so we can zoom in on that so uh, maybe if i okay let's stop okay what i want to do is uh, put the sweep uh, uh, i have here a span now of 50 megahertz so we can have a, a better look inside of the wave uh, so that means uh, the center is a thousand so we go 25 below and 25 up um, so the start you can just type megahertz gigahertz even i will do 975 you can do back 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 nine seven five enter and you do the same and you do the steps uh, i hope the steps are not too big right now because it's gonna be quick i think so let's see sweep yes it is too quick and, and, and now you see it does come with a lot of dirt i'm, I'm surprised because the point is actually the point is actually not dirty at all it's very clean okay let's see if we do smaller steps let's do 10 so we have some time okay watching it now yes now we can see Oof. a little bit more slow steps big, 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 big. one kilohertz is it possible it is possible the interface is really nice it is very simple to control yeah now we can see Ooh. I uh, like what I did by uh, by uh, adding the display. They really uh, made it so much less complicated to work with it. Uh, you don't need to fight any software. Um, you can just use it immediately out of the box. It only needs power. And uh, yeah, you can do a sweep. You can do uh, uh, your your point uh, signal generation. Uh, I like it. And 
if you look well on the Ali or on the Banggood or whatever you prefer, you can find them around 35, 35 dollars only. So, but you need to look because they are also more expensive, but you can find those. It doesn't have uh, modulation, um, but it just goes from 35 megahertz all the way up to uh, 4.4 gigahertz. And the sweep function exactly the same, and you can do really st steps starting from uh, one kilohertz, which is very small. And you have seen that on the spectrum analyzer. Only the sweep function does uh, show some noise on the spectrum analyzer, and uh, that's a pity. I don't know if it is by if it's a device or it's just a setting that I have wrong on the spectrum analyzer, but I didn't see that when I was doing the point generation. So. Uh, but all in all, uh, I think it's it's a great little device and the display really adds a lot of functionality because you don't need the, the, the external software. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.